Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're going to take a look into a web browser on this Garuda Linux. And of course it is uh, integrated with the OS because the developer of this web browser is also the developer of the Garuda Linux OS. So let's take a look into this as we dive in into our Linux app. Today it's all about Fire Dragon web browser. We have this welcome page from the Garuda. We could like turn it off right here, show into these startup or we could uncheck so I just uh, turn it on so that I will not be like confused which is which which OS I'm using <laughs> so anyway uh, let's dive in into this web browser so let's minimize this one because I think I need that one so it is the Garuda Linux operating system. It is the Dragonize KDE desktop environment. As you can see, it is beautiful as really beautiful. Uh, even like the wallpapers are awesome. As you can see right here, we have a lot of this different type of, of this Dragonize wallpaper i'll get into web browser in a while because i just really love this one so i think i'll go for the anime garuda mm, cool <laughs> okay so let's open the garuda default web browser called fire dragon i'll make it also zoom in to like 200 yeah, I think so. 200 will be okay. Because, of course, we are using the HD, but the screen is a little bit small. So sad. It's supposed to be, like, huge because it has a cool pixels that you could watch and amaze. So anyway, this is the Fire Dragon. So as you can see, it has the start page, home page. The start page is the start.garudalinux.org. We also have the home page, which is the garudalinux.org. And there has some forum right here, wiki, uptimes, and the kill sticky. So let's try to look into this. You could uh, sign in for your synchronization of your data, just like in Firefox. By the way, Fire Dragon is a fork of Libri Wolf, and Libri Wolf is also a fork with the Firefox web browser. As you can see, Fire Dragon, uh, the Fire Dragon logo has resembled the Firefox, of course. As you can see, the z circle right here and the tail of the Firefox, it's uh, still there. But instead of the fox right here, it has the dragon. So let's go to the. Oh, let me see. Uh, like okay let's go for the help it's all about the fire dragon so the fire dragon is uh, a fork of this fork so fire dragon for Garuda Linux it is in version 118.0.2 one, Fire Dragon is designed by Fire Dragon Global Community working together to keep the web open, public, and accessible to all. For your donation, please click right here and get involved. Also, if you are a developer and wanted to get in touch and to these involvement of the development of the Fire Dragon.
so uh, let's try to see the information right here so it is a public license under the Mozilla public license open source okay I will not uh, dive into this as you know let's go to the start page let's see uh, what we could find at the start page right here so yeah you could like start page of the Garuda so all the information that you need right here from the privacy services are here so let's try to see the home page which is the Garuda so how does this works it's just the same you have all the settings right here so the settings right here click it and then you have this one you have the general right here which is automatic light and dark the appearance I prefer the dark like is a little bit like um, uh, it's trying to hurt my eyes actually giving the eye strain while the dark mode well it is pleasant to my eyes I don't know why but of course I've been using this for a couple of years like I mean the computer and of course I need to protect my eyes and I'm now wearing the glasses so it's a little bit like struggling you know life as we know it so anyway uh, you also have the settings for your download right here where to save you could browse it also either if you wanted to put it somewhere else you are free and of course I just prefer the download and of course always asked where to save it because I just really wanted to like do it like that at the same time we also have the AVI image file so it opens with fire dragon the extensionable uh, makeup language or XML save file as always mal mail to not malito <laughs> uh, we also have the PDF the portable document format we also have the SVG which is the scalable vector graphics and of course the web P image and of course you can control also the updates right here so how do you use this one it's still the same of course uh, because I'm using the fire dragon KDE dragon eyes desktop environment so um, a little bit like different because it is a Mac like type of environment so it will like be like that so we also have the tab right here to add the top if to minus it just close it like that you also have the back and the forward and the refresh plus the web uh, address and the search it is already set so as you can see let's go to the settings the search is actually Garuda search with the X so let's just uh, search for the fire dragon okay enter and there you have it it is checking for the site connection and secure so as you can see it is the same with all the search engine we have the general image video news maps music of course they added music the it science files social media so they have that one too so it is a little bit standard like and of course we also have the preference right here what is the preference for the Garuda search in we also have the donation right here about and of course we have the search bar right here including the website so you could click in that one and then type but at the same time you have the new tab just click that one and then we have the far dragon so 
Fire Dragon, since it is integrated, it is better to use the KDE Garuda Linux desktop environment so that it will. It it's really okay. It's really good. It is functional. It is responsive, and it has a little bit of lag. If you are using the virtual machine, of course, I'm using right now. So as you can see, it is uh, awesome, right? So let's try to download something like the theme or the oh we have available right here so update now let's try to see how does it update i think it is already updating plugins themes right here so it's running through the mozilla even it is far dragon sweet dark plugins for your cartoons uh, videos and audio files theme extension so it has integrated with the dark reader dark mode for every website uh, u block origin which is the efficient blocker easy on CPU and memory and it is now disabled the plasma integration so let's try to integrate that one able so if you want to go to a website just click right here if you are wondering there is something issue it maybe there will be some issue but it is okay so do you prefer the Firefox or do you prefer the LibreOffice or do you prefer the Fire Dragon web browser? Fire Dragon is a great alternative for any web browser that you have. It is also helpful to switch from the general and all purpose web browser and study the other web provider in the market so it is very good to have this as we have the fork of the firefox which is the fork of the libri wolf from the fork of the firefox now comes with the fire dragon so if you have some question feel free to ask me right in the comments down below this is your science teacher teacher blair for linux app fire dragon web browser catch another episode of linux app next time see you in the next episode and remember that science means knowing that is why science is cool ciao